Hotel World. This your brother Matthew Daniels, aka M. Pooh, aka the Chosen Few, aka the Real Bookworm. I'm not a bookworm. I'm the real bookworm, and I want to help you. But in order for me to help you, you have to allow yourself to be helped. Now I have a word for y'all today, right? I have a message for y'all today, right? And if you need to write this down, everybody, listen to me good. Everybody was born with everything that they need to accomplish their goals, ambitions, and dreams. Every body, every single person on planet Earth was born with an innate ability to accomplish their dreams, their goals, and ambitions. Now, it will not be easy to do this. It takes a lot of hard work, it takes a lot of dedication, and it takes a lot of motivation. And one of the hardest things that it takes it takes self-reflection, right? Because it's easier to judge others than it is to fix what is wrong with ourselves. In this age of social media, it seems like everybody wants to look at others, see how others are living their lives, and pick apart their flaws and point out their mistakes. We watch TV. We look at videos on social media. We review people's statuses on Facebook. Right? We read about people's stories in the newspaper and we love to say what they are doing wrong. We love to point out their mistakes and we love to point out their missteps and their shortcomings. But you know what we don't love to do? And this is what's keeping us in the situations that we are in. What we do not love to do, in all actuality, what we hate to do is we hate to look at ourselves. We always want to put the spotlight on others and we do not want to put the spotlight on ourselves because you are in the situation that you are in because of you, right? You have a dream, a goal, and an ambition, right? And you were born with everything that you need to take that dream, right? To take that idea that's in your mind and actualize it in your physical reality. But the only way to actualize it into your physical reality is you have to go inside of yourself. You have to go inside of yourself and figure out what it is and then come up with a viable solution on how to make it happen. And you cannot go within yourself as long as you are looking at outside individuals. You have to stop blaming mama. You have to stop blaming daddy. You have to stop blaming your coworkers. You have to stop blaming management. You have to stop blaming your teacher. You have to stop blaming your boss. And you have to blame yourself. Because the only way for you to reach your dream, right, is for you to take responsibility for where you are at in your life. Because as long as you blame others, you are inadvertently giving them the power to keep you right where you are at. So you have to go within yourself. You have to dig deep and you have to figure out what your flaws are and fix them. Figure out what your mistakes are and fix them. Figure out where you are lacking in life and you have to fix it. You have to stop looking at others. You have to stop judging others and you have to judge yourself. It's a fundamental rule to success and it is a prerequisite to success. Me, I figured out what my purpose is. I figured out what my dream is. I figured out what my calling is, right? I, I'm a writer. I love to write, okay? But I had to realize that it takes more than the ability to write. It takes more than me uh, understanding how to create an a, a impactful, powerful, monumental story from start to end. Right. It takes more than me being able to do that to be successful as a writer, because I made a lot of mistakes in my life. Right. I've been to jail several times. I started going to jail when I was 16 years old. I wanted to be a thug. I wanted to be a gangster. I wanted to be a criminal. Right. I wanted to be on the outside of civilized society. And that was keeping me from my goals. And as long as I blamed it on the government, 
As long as I blamed it on the white man, as long as I blamed it on the police, as long as I blamed it on influences that were surrounding me, I never was able to fix myself. It was only when I looked within myself and I saw the, the, the self-destructive behavior within myself that I was able to correct it and get myself on the path to success, right? I'm an author. I write books. My first, uh, uh, my first novel, my, day book, my debut novel, rather, Suicide Note by Matthew Daniels is doing wonderful right now. But what a lot of people see, they see the book published, they see it selling on Walmart, they see it selling on Amazon, they see it selling at half price books, and they see it selling at dozens of different online bookstore retailers, right? And they, they, they see individuals in my community supporting me buying the book. They see me selling the book myself, and what they are really seeing is the finished copy. They're seeing the result. They're seeing the end of hard work. But what I want to expose to y'all today is you have to put in the work. After you look within yourself and you judge yourself and you figure out what's wrong with you, right? And you correct your behavior and you correct your thought patterns, right? You correct how you see the world. Then you do the work to achieve your goals and achieve your dreams. I want to show y'all something, right? Bear with me. Bear with me. When I first wrote my book, the book Suicide Note, that's being sold all over the world right now, I actually wrote it in prison because I was in prison when I realized what I wanted to do with my life, okay? And the first version of Suicide Note looked like this, okay? This is the first version of Suicide Note. So the first thing that I had to do, I had to sit down. And I had to physically do the work. Now, it wasn't easy to write a whole book by hand. But in order to achieve your dreams, you have to be willing to do some of the things that you do not want to do. And so I wrote the book like that. I wrote it in paper form. But when it was in paper form, I could not take it to the next level. It did not go from my mind to this. It did not go from my mind to being sold on Walmart.com. It didn't go from my mind to being sold on Amazon.com. It went from my mind to paper. And then I had to do the necessary work to take it from paper. And then I had to type it up, right? And this was the first version of my book that I was selling, right? And I'm going to tell y'all something. I cannot type, okay? Man, it took me so long to type up this book. It took me so long to type up this book that it was so many times I wanted to quit. I would type, 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 type strong for a week. And then I felt like giving up. And I was like, man, I can't even type. I, I peck on the keyboard. I peck on the keyboard, right? But I knew if I wanted to achieve my goals, if I wanted to achieve my dreams, I had to finish it. And so I pressed. I worked and I pushed and I typed it up. And then after typing it up, I had to get it copywritten, right? I had to get it copywritten. I had to figure out how to copyright a book. So I had to do the research. I did the research. I figured out how to get it copywritten, right? After I did that, I had to solicit several publication companies in order to see if I could get one of those publishing companies to publish my book. So I sent it out. Man, I can't even count how many people I sent the book to, right? And I'm not even saying, listen, I wasn't even hearing no. They weren't even responding. And it, 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 I wanted to stop. It, it, it made me want to just kill the dream inside of me because I would send it off to a publication company, a publishing company, and I would wait one month, two months, three months, no response. I send it to another one, one month, two months, three months, no response. I send it to another one, one month, two months, three months, no response. And how I started to feel like maybe my book isn't good enough. Maybe I didn't write it good enough. Maybe I'm not a good author. Maybe people don't like the story. Maybe, 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 maybe. And all of these doubts started coming into my mind. All of these doubts started coming into my head. All of these, these, these feelings of not being enough started to creep into my very being. And I wanted to give up on myself. 
I wanted to quit. I wanted to stop, but I had to continue to push through. And it was sometimes I would try to send it off to a publishing company and they would tell me in a, in a, in a, a, a pre-programmed response that, oh, this is not how you submit a book. We don't want the whole book. We just want the first three chapters. And we want the first three chapters. We want it typewritten like this. We want the font like this. We want it double spaced like this. And we want a header at each chapter telling us what each chapter is about. So then I would have to go in, put forth the effort to present the book how they wanted the book presented and send it off to them only to wait another one, two, three months and not even get a response. Man, I heard no or didn't get a response so many times. You have no idea. But I finally made my breakthrough because I did not give up because there was something inside of me that I was born with that would allow me, I knew this to be true, that would allow me to achieve all of the success that I wanted in life. And so that's what you have to do in your life. You do not give up when it gets hard because if this is something that's in your heart, if this is something that's in your mind, if this is something that's in your very being, right? Whenever you wake up in the morning, this is on your mind, whether you choose to think about it or not, that's your calling. That's your purpose. That is why you are here. That is why you are here. And if you don't figure out why you are here and you don't spend your life chasing that, you are always going to have a life full of regrets. That's just how it goes. In the rest of the world, they may not see it. The rest of the world, they may not see it. And when you go to someone and you tell them, hey, this is my dream, they may say, that's bullshit. You may go to someone and say, hey, this is my dream, and they may say, that's not good enough. You may go to someone and say, this is my dream, and they may say, hey, it's somebody else that do it better. We don't want yours, we want this one. And you may hear no over and over and over and over and over and over again. But you keep getting up and you keep pressing and you keep pushing. That's what you have to do. And now today, I have a published copy of a book that I wrote while I was in prison. And not only do I have a published copy of a book that I wrote while I was in prison, it's selling on Amazon, it's selling on Walmart.com, it's selling on online bookstores all the way in the UK. People in my community are coming out. I've been in the newspaper behind my story. I was just recently on the radio station behind my story. And the success that I only saw in my mind is being actualized in my reality, right? And all it took was something that was already within me. I just had to bring it out. I had to correct my behavior. I had to correct my thought process. And then I had to push. So what I want you to do, what I want you to do, stop judging others and judge yourself. Figure out if you're not where you want to be, it is because of you. It's something that you are either doing or not doing that's keeping you in the position that you are in. So you have to do what they call self-reflection. You have to stop looking at others and you have to look at yourself. And when you look at yourself, you have to be honest enough to say what your flaws are, what your mistakes are, what your negative thinking is. And then you have to figure out what it is that you ultimately want out of life. What is your dream? What is your ambition? What did the creator put on your heart? And whatever that is, you know, That is your reason for being here on planet Earth. And then you cultivate that and you push for that. And you do whatever you have to do, no matter how hard, to bring that into your reality. And even when people tell you no, even when people can't see it, even when people tell you that you sound crazy, you keep going for it because you know that that is something that that is on your heart and you know that that is something that you are supposed to have. It's not for them. It's not their vision. It's not their dream. It's not their ambition. It's not their goal. So who cares if they don't feel it? Who cares if they don't see it? Who cares if they don't appreciate it? Because it is a portion of the world who is going to benefit from you walking in your calling. Stop judging others and judge yourself. You were born with everything that you need to be successful. 
but you have to figure out what your calling is. And when you figure out what your calling is, you change anything about yourself, right? You change anything about yourself to make that happen. And it's not going to happen overnight. No one is going to wave a magic wand. Nobody waved a magic wand and I went from having an idea of being an author to actually having a published book. It took years, right? It took, it, 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 it took me hearing no, right? It took me putting in the work. It took me doing things that I'm not even good at doing. I'm telling y'all, I can't type. I pick. I pick. The book is almost 400 pages long. Do you realize how long it took me to do that? But if I would have stopped because it was too hard, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in right now. You were born with everything that you need to be successful. And you are the only person that's holding you back. Okay? This your brother Matthew Daniels, a.k.a. The Chosen Few, a.k.a. M. Pool, a.k.a. The Real Bookworm. Not a bookworm, the real bookworm. Follow me on Facebook, Matthew Daniels. Go to my page, like my page, everything Matthew Daniels. Check out my YouTube channel, The Chosen Few, all spelled as one word, and few spelled P-H-E-W, The Chosen Few. Go to my YouTube page, subscribe, like a few videos, and you can see everything that I've been putting up. Thank you for listening, and as always, may your name live on forever, and may your memory never die. Hotels.